Uh, so continuing with our last video, we're going to analyze some transactions for JJ's loan service, loan care service. So here are the transactions and we will first see how they will impact the accounting equation and then we will also see how that this accounting equation will translate into a change on the statement of financial position. So the first entry is on May 1st, let me just add one more over here for the date structure. So let's begin now. On May 1st, Jezel Jones and her family invested 8,000 in JJ Ron's care services and received 800 shares of stock. So what is happening over here that the family, um, the owners of the business, have invested dollar eight thousand in the business, and they have in, made the investment by buying shares in the company. So, like I said, that in company, whenever the owners are going to invest an amount of money, they will do so by buying shares in the company. Shares are simply certificates. It's a piece of paper, so you're going to buy that paper, um, and. When an owner is going to buy that paper, he has invested an amount into the business. Now, we are going to think from the point of view of the business according to the business entity principle, and we're not going to think from the perspective of Jill Jones and her family. So if you think of it from JJ Lawn Care Services perspective, they are receiving $8,000 into the business because the business has sold 800 shares of stock. So what is happening in the business is that cash is increasing, right? Cash is increasing by, so it's increasing by 8,000. And on the other side, your owner's equity, because the amount of money that is being invested is coming from the owners themselves it is going to increase the owner's equity by 8,000 as well. And this is going to be called capital stock. So when the amount of money is invested through shares, we call it capital stock. Now this 8,000 is actually a claim uh, by the owners on the assets of the business. So the business is getting 8,000. We're saying that this 8,000 is coming from the owners. Now let's look at the balance sheet. How will we display this over there? So in the balance sheet, it's going to look like this. We have one section for assets and the other section for owner's equity and, and assets. We will show that there is an increase of cash 8,000. So the total becomes 8,000. And the other side, we have capital stock, which is again 8,000. And the total is again 8,000. Okay, now let's go to the Second transaction. So I'll write the date over here as well, May 1st. Second, May. So JJ's purchased a riding lawn mover of dollar 2,500 cash. Now the business already has an amount of 8,000 in the form of cash and they're going to purchase a riding lawn mower. So they're purchasing another asset. The lawn mower is an asset that the business is going to use. It is going to be a resource in the business. So what is happening over here is that only the asset side is changing. Neither have you taken a loan for this lawn mower. Neither the amount is being invested by the owners. The amount of money is being used by the business itself. So this 8,000 cash is being utilized to purchase the lawn mower. Now what is happening? This cash is actually reducing by 2,500. So the balance for this will be 5,500. So now the cash has reduced by 2,500 because we have used it to purchase the lawn mover. And on the other side, another asset has increased. So we have now one more asset, which is our sorry, lawn mower. And the amount by which we're going to report it is 2,500. And this is an increase. So one asset has decreased and another asset has 
increase. This is what is happening over here. Nothing has changed on the liability, so that is still zero. The owner's equity was 8,000, so it will remain 8,000. So I'm going to write the balances over here. This was 8,000, this is still 8,000, this was zero, this is still zero. This is something additional, 2,500. So these are our balances. So you can see this side will still sum up, sum up to 8,000 and the other side is still 8,000. So our accounting equation still balances. Now let's go to our statement of financial position. So over there, this will look like this. So we have cash 5,500 because it has reduced by 2,500 and tools and equipment, or you can call it lawn mower, has increased by 2,500. So this side is now 8,000 and the other side is 8,000 and we'll, we still do not have any liability section because we, because we have taken nothing on loan so far. Now let's go ahead. Third one. <coughs> on May 11th, JJ purchased some repair parts for 300 on account. Jill realized she had purchased more repair parts than needed. Okay. So now what they're saying is that on May 11th, sorry, I missed one, right? Yeah. On May 8th, JJ purchased a 15,000 truck. JJ paid down 2,000 down in cash and issued a note payable for the remaining 13,000. So another asset has increased, right? because they have purchased a truck. So we have one more resource in our business. I'm going to add one more column. So the business also now has a truck and the amount they have paid for the truck is so on May 8th, this happened, May 8th. We have a truck for 15,000. Now we need to see how have we paid for this truck. JJ paid 2,000 down in cash. So 2,000 of the amount has been paid in cash. So this is negative 2,000. And they're saying it should a note payable for the remaining 13,000. So it means for that for the remaining amount of money, they have taken out a loan. 13,000 payment is done through by taking on loan. So what is going to happen? Your liability section is now going to have notes payable. And we have taken on a 13,000 loan. So this shows over here that we have bought a truck and 2,000 has been paid in the form of cash, whereas the remain, for the remaining 13,000 amount, the business has taken on loan. Now what will happen over here? We're going to write the balances one more time. So 5,500 minus...
30 days. So what happens is that they are the We have another new asset, which is our account receivable.
that your cash has reduced and on and your liability has also reduced. On May 29, JJ recorded all clients were paid in cash. So you have a lawn care business. You provided your services during May for $750 and the clients paid to you in cash. So this is confirmed that your cash has increased because your customers have actually paid you the amount. $750. This is for May 29. Okay, now this is your first impact. Where should the other impact go on to? You have provided non-care service. So actually you have earned your revenue, your sales. It can't go into as an equipment. It won't go in your account receivable because the customers have already paid for it. It won't go into your truck. It's not a liability. Then what is it? Actually, your revenue. So, revenue and expense is a different category that you will learn on in the future whenever you sell something from your business. Uh, you provide a service, then that is recorded in your revenue. It's your own So, what you will do with the service of people? So, you record from one side and our balance to the other. You need to remember that whatever is the profit. Into your capital stock. Your retained earnings, which is a part of your retained earnings. Balance. over here as well. So our owner's equity has now two things, capital stock and the retained earnings. Retained earnings is whatever is the profit of the business that is reinvested back into the business is recorded over here. So if there is any sales, sales is always going to increase your profit. Sales, your revenue minus your expenses gives you your profit. So if sales are high, or if you're into any sales, it is going to increase your profit, and that means it will increase your retained earnings. Now you can see that your balance sheet still balances. If we go over here and see the impact in our balance sheet, it's going to look like this. So your cash has increased, and the other end, your retained earnings have increased. So you just have to remember at this point that your sales. If sales increase, your retained earnings are going to increase. If an expense increases in the business, then your retained earnings are going to decrease because of that. And we are done.